Oh, watch the old video. Don't quit. And hello there. So, we're not doing part five of the good old Soviet Union invasion of Europe. No, don't quit. Do not quit. The reason is why is because when I tried to do it, at 20 minutes and 40 seconds in, I had I have done t a little too much and a bit of sting, a bit of the place where I'm recording this, where I always recorded it, touched my device and gone all the way into the home screen where you can see where I live. But that never happens in the place where you can well videos that are uploaded sometimes I have some deleted files right, yes so what we're really just gonna do today is top over the bottom but we're just gonna do some Ukrainian war and yes I'm just gonna do the history of it we're actually also gonna do when like Ukraine actually lost the good old area of Crimea and yeah drawing you might be mad at my drawing but drawing countries are way harder than you think so after this video get a drawing app and then try to draw a country with it probably do some hard countries to draw and then you might notice you're struggling too so do not dislike this video. Not just being a weirdo, just being silly. So yes, here is Russia, who's a big weirdo, who is just trying to take the entire world and ruin the entirety of everyone. With bad Geoffrey and the bad economy. Now, if I get ru a bit of Russians watching my videos this month, I do not care about Jews. You know that war in Ukraine? You think you're about to, you know, like win the war? No, Ukraine's gonna win the war. Why do you believe about Putin thinking he's gonna win the war? Because Putin doesn't realize there's a big bad G offery in flipping Russia. And most of its land is frozen throughout the entire year, so... Well, that sucks for you, Russia. Uh. And it's about actually more than half of its land. 56% of its land is frozen all year long. Yeah, and, when, and also, if t all the ice melted, just... I'm gonna give you a little, some of these little facts. If the, all the ice in the earth melted, the world will only lose 68 meters of land, which is still big. Just, there might, there is quite a lot of videos about the earth losing lands and growing land. But due to losing land, skip all the way to 68 meters and then you can find out how the world will look like. Even though the ice will be still there, but just think in your head and just have a video in your head and just remove all the ice. Simple as easy. Wait, why did I? Oh my god!
Ukraine's supposed to be blue, man. Like the blue is the one that is defending the like defending its country. Then the other ones that are blue but not defending its country, but is helping the country that's trying to get took like literally ruled by the country is their good it's it's good old allies but if it's just red but not the actual country that is attacking the country well it's just the one that is supporting the bad country and yes i'll get the Good old navies, like if like a country, yeah, yeah. Just watch my Korean War video, and then you'll find out how it is. And yet, my Korean War ha video has nearly a hundred views, so it grows up to about a I think eighty five views per day. Which is great, it's big. And I do all those drawing videos. In order to draw. But the more drawing videos I do, the, the faster they will grow views. And yet, when you do a single video, that means a higher chance your video could be popped on. But at the same time, you need a big amount of views. So you need like popular things. The thing that gives your channel lots of views. And I just put that black right there. Now I'm just gonna cut the video. And yes, my device is on very low battery as you can see, but hopefully it doesn't die. Because then I have to start this video all over again. So, Crimea gets its independence, but is helping Ukraine, and Ukraine is trying to help Crimea. But then Crimea just gets token. It's now part of good old Russia. Which is a bad man. And then Russia, and then some little countries get their independence. That just are very tiny. They're very tiny. But they are a literal helper of Russia. So. Russia in 2022 decides to declare war on Ukraine even though a long time back they promised that they wouldn't declare war on Ukraine if they handled out the nukes and yet Belarus is don't because of the Baltic countries. But then Belarus just helps Russia a bit. But they don't necessarily declare war in Ukraine. But what all they do is just they're just a big coward. They're a big coward. What they just do is let Russia let their troops go through Belarus to go to the northern part of Ukraine. And now Russia's just going to be making some stripes and also need to give their capitals right there. Then Kiev is quite far away. And Russia is just big around it. Then the Battle of Kiev lasted 
a long time. But right when the war, when that war ends, Kiev gets reinforcements and pushes them all the way back. And Ukraine got a lot of territories back. And now everything is slowed to a hulk. Tiny pushes that Ukraine is doing. But then Russia is now not going into a hulk. A hulk. And it's now pushing back Ukraine. But then Ukraine breaks the good old navy is down there and Crimea is now gonna start becoming part of Ukraine again and yes this is just how I I think the war is going now I watched a video yesterday and I found out Ukraine is pushing back Russia so this is the reason why I'm doing Ukraine pushing back and Ukraine starts to Pushing the better us. And now some good big hope is there for Ukraine. That's because NATO now is on Ukraine's side. And yeah, it's just gonna be big bad thing. For Russia. Yeah, and then Turkey straight at the bottom. Then Poland, which is a big square out there. Then, yes, there's like Slovenia, the Czech Republic, Hungary, who's quite a big guy. And uh, yeah, and then that's just some holes. All right, let's expand Romania and yeah, then remove that white, then remove that white. There we go. Then, yeah, Nate, but also the European Union is also in the war. But it also can't, because it also counts as the European Union getting attacked. Because Poland is also part of the European Union. And Moldova is just in peace right out there. Because I don't think Moldova is part of the European Union. I might be wrong. I'm sorry if I'm actually wrong. But just, I don't clearly know that. And yeah, I just don't fully know that. Like, if I'm wrong, I am sorry. Don't yell at me. Just don't yell. Don't yell in the comments and say, Drill Zachary, you're wrong. Just tell me. But don't put in an exclamation mark or just put them full capital letters because, oh my god, my device is at 2%. It needs to end quite quickly. But it is just... The war is only a year long right now, but it's still ongoing. But yet, Ukraine now cut it off Russia and now is starting to go towards the capital. And Poland is starting to just push in. And push in and push in. And yeah. Then let's do the future. And when they get to both of the capitals of the the bad ones, they 
are gonna lose. Then Belarus has to go do a peace treaty. So this is the big, big peace treaty. So yeah, this is gonna happen. So yeah, Belarus is badly gonna get damaged. Then a few days later, Russian capital will become encircled. And then, yeah, boom, just bash into the capital. And Putin is still right there in his tiny little house. But now Putin is dead. In, but that's all the way in 2024. And yes, I'll make Russia go all the way back. But then um, it's gonna lose a great chunk of land. Just gonna lose loads of land. Since Russia is just a big guy. It will be damaged sore and sorely. But this is how that damage looks like in Europe. To it. That it has done that big war mistake. And yet it is... The end of the video, but hold on, hold on. Let's make a good old moon. Hold on, that's too big. What have I done? So, yeah, but let's just put in the river. So, yeah, so there's a big river in Russia that just goes everywhere now russia is gonna lose lands of that river and it's very bad seemingly that it's such a big river and russia is gonna lose big chunks of the river that their water supply will go down like hell then the river that crosses into Belarus will be severely damaged. That also crosses into Russia. In fact, Belarus is going to lose like big, big amounts. Then here's some of the Ukrainian river that barely goes into Belarus right now. Then yeah, there's just going to be Big river that just swings in. And this is the last river that momentarily flows through all of Europe. But now, it is finally the end of the video.